and we are going. Extra butter time, people. We got our superhero on tonight. We're actually here with uh, Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> As you can see, he's joined us. <laughs> you know, I never realized how bit. much you embody Mark Ruffalo until yeah. I watched that movie tonight. Yeah. I do um, have do, an anger do you ever get that? Too. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. That's, huh, that's awesome. funny. Yeah. Nice. Not not actually Mark Ruffalo. It's uh, Mike Taylor, you know, Dan Devanian yet again. And we're actually here with Mike Wong, one of the biggest Avengers fan we know. So mm -hmm. just came out opening night. Um, yeah. Definitely feel like there's plenty to say about this yeah. one. Yeah, definitely. Um, it, it was a wild one. So, um, let's see that shirt. Yeah, so there you go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, gotta, gotta rep the cap, baby. Free posters and everything when you pre purchase on Fandango. <laughs> <laughs> Worth the price. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, thanks a lot for um, coming and sitting in the back of the truck with this man and <laughs> talking movies for a Thanks for inviting me. It. It's great. <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, so, you, uh, yeah, tell us a bit about yourself. Like, like where do you live? Like, yeah. So uh, I'm uh, from San Francisco, uh, been there for uh, God, most of my life, um, kind of love the city, and uh, you know I've been, uh, actually grew up as a comic book fan, you know, nice. like, raised, wow. raised on Marvel in DC, um, and so you know like, yeah, we we're, were all just a bunch of comic geeks back then, mm -hmm. right, and then love with it. the, you know, with the age of, uh, you know, the MCU, and uh, with, uh, you know, the DCU. Uh, it's just been, yeah, everybody, like, everybody's like, oh, they want to talk to you about, you know, like, all the history behind everything now, so you're, like, the expert. It's, yeah. It's really, I knew it would pay off. <laughs> <laughs> you know, someday, all that, all that, all that geekdom, you know, eventually paid off. So Absolutely. Do you, do you still have them? You yeah, know, you know, I actually stuff. still have a bunch of my comics nice. sitting wow. in boxes. Um, not, not all of them are in great shape, yeah. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, I mean, I have to actually admit that I was probably more of a DC guy than a Marvel guy. Yeah, um, I put myself in similar category. Yeah, but on, and on the comic book side, but uh, on the uh, on the movie side, I mean, it's it's pretty much Marvel's hands down. If well, I'm excited to like be with someone who has got the canon down because um, I am mm -hmm. always curious with these movies, you know, how much they follow that stuff. And, and I didn't really read the comic books, so, yeah, yeah. you know, I kind of just enjoy the movies for what they are, you know, independently. Yeah. Yeah, I, I actually didn't read the uh, Infinity uh, series. Um, you know, actually, I mean, I, that came kind of later, later sort of in my, you know, uh, uh, life. So I, I didn't actually read the uh, the series itself, but I did. You know, like when when I heard that Infinity uh, uh, was coming out, you know, I did go back and and sort of look at some of the timelines and the storylines, and but just like, having having the back the background with all the characters and stuff like that was really helpful. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, you know, so I do know. Uh, some of what the uh, the comic book storyline is, mm -hmm. um, but uh, I mean, I think one of the things that um, you know MCU has, I think, really done a good job of, is sort of taking uh, what's really interesting with the comics mm. and then um, sort of putting their own sort of spin on it to weave, uh, a, I think, a more interesting and a more uh, maybe modern, you know, just tale. Mm. Uh, one of the things that I think that happens with comic books is that um, some of the stuff gets like crazy fantastical um, and almost to the point of absurdity in some mm. ways. It's kind of the way the comics are sometimes. Yeah, I can uh, imagine. And, yeah, and I think the, the, the movies really sort of take the story and then sort of root it in more of sort of like a modern day sensibility. Mm -hmm. you know? So I just think they do a good job with it. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, so well, when we, we saw it again, yeah, opening night. Um, we saw it at Tanferan in San Bruno, which, uh, yeah, another mall theater. I would say right, but XD XD with a we side did, seating, baby. We you know? did see Which XD I didn't know side seating. What an XD was. <laughs> we walked in and Dan was like, "Where are we getting our glasses?" I thought it was yeah, <laughs> uh, glasses or something. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But, it's it's the uh, you know that XD you know with the unicorns you know with the yeah they, yeah they always did the little unicorn bit where yeah. it's the unicorns that make the magic i actually and, liked uh, the first i didn't like i didn't really care for this i didn't like one. this one either yeah. with the color splash thing. yeah that's the first that. time i ever saw oh, it. what am i missing i just thought it was louder than most movies <laughs> <laughs> that's why, am i missing something uh probably not yeah um, no i mean i think you know i mean no they, but i mean what's so, sorry yeah. but what's the is there like a catch or something, or is it just the screen is like really huge? Or well, I mean, they say the XD is you know like a better screen and better yeah. sound. The and, picture and the pictures, yeah, better you know, picture quality. Okay. quality is better. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I don't know.